Before the chucker, KQ did something called the call of the day. You would write in and request that a friend or a loved one get set up with a joke call. Then I would call and say, hey, your husband just fell through a plate glass window. Ha ha ha. Well, people started getting sued. So the FCC put the hammer down and you couldn't do it anymore. Then I figured, well, if you're already agreeing to do an interview, what if the DJ was just an idiot? And thus, the Chucker was born. Hot Power 92 Radio, Andy Chucker up here in the Playhouse once again, boys and girls. The Chucker's voice was sort of a mixture of all the bad top 40 DJs I had grown up with. In fact, there was a DJ called The Chucker in Minneapolis in the 70s. He didn't sound like my Chucker, but he was bad. Over the years, I've noticed the bigger the ego, the better the Chucker call. We've talked to some very big stars that were having fun with it, laughing, going along with it. And then we've talked to some not so big stars like the drummer of Kingdom Come, who was pissed off. There have been a handful of them that after we were done with the interview, their agent would call back and say, I don't know what you're doing, but if you put that on the radio, we're gonna sue your pants off. And guess what? I didn't put it on the radio. And by the way, can't thank you enough for all the time.